Hello, students. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss our uh, uh, second and last part of June 2020-20 O-Levels paper. So here is your paper. Uh, last time we have completed our uh, uh, we have calculated our uh, income and expenditure account and today uh, we have to start from here uh, the decision making. Okay. Uh, the treasurer is considering to increase the subscription amount in order to obtain sufficient fund to purchase a computer equipment. The equipment cost is dollar four hundred. First of all, I think uh, just for the sake of uh, last time we calculated seven hundred seven forty surplus. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it means the funding a four hundred dollar equipment is possible. Uh, within our uh, available resources. We don't need to obtain loan for that and pay inter heavy interest on that. Uh, and we don't need to increase our subscription just for the sake of this computer. But uh, on the other hand, we have to increase the subscription because it has been due for a long time. We have, non we have not yet increased our subscription so we can increase. And if we increase it by just $3, that would be enough to cover this equipment cost. Uh, but we can lose uh, people uh, if they are coming. Uh, if uh, we increase the subscription amount, they, they some of the members might uh, leave our uh, club and uh, join another club. But uh, if we increase from the, the present subscription is fifty-two dollars, if we increase it by three dollars and make it fifty-five dollars, that would be okay. Three dollars. Uh, we are already losing uh, some of the members but if uh, we increase with the with the promise to increase the facilities then i think that would be uh, a good gesture to the uh, existing members or the new members also uh acha, what is the resident payment account is basically in profit organization what we call cash book where we record inflow and outflow of cash in uh, non-profit organization it is called resident payment account Accumulate fund uh, in profit organization, we call it capital. Here, we, asset minus liabilities is, corporate, uh, is capital. In non-profit organization, asset minus liabilities is called accumulated fund. Okay. Now, this question, Akila and Darius are in partnership. Okay. The partnership agreement provides the following. Uh, interest on capital, 3% per annum. Interest drawing, 5%. Salary to Akila, 9,500. Residual profit to be shared, Akila 60%, Darius 40%. Okay. Capital account balances are given. Current account balances are given. And drawings account has, uh, drawings for the year ended 30 April 2023 are given. Profit for the year has been calculated. And it is 42,304. We have to make the appropriation account. So here is our appropriation account. We are going to report uh, net income over here. Uh, sorry. So net income is how much? Forty two thousand. That is, uh, I think, forty two thousand three hundred and four. Yes, forty two thousand three hundred and four. Forty two thousand three hundred and four. Okay. Now, what we have to add over here? Is interest on drawing the only item we have to add over here is interest in interest on drawings. Okay, interest on drawings. First, Akila. Her drawings is how much? Akila's drawings, uh, 19,400. So 19,400 multiplied by 5%. Okay. What about uh, Darius? Darius' drawings is 16,320 multiplied by 5%. Okay. So that amount would be here. 19,400 multiply by 5%. 19,400 multiply by 5%. 970. 
okay and here 16320 multiply by 5% 816 so total we have to add over here and total would be 816 plus 816 plus 970 1786 1786 okay if we add here we'll get the total how much 1786 plus 42304 that makes 42304 44090 44090 okay now what we have to do here we have to less now interest on capitals interest on capitals okay we have to less okay interest on capitals okay interest on capitals so akila capital is how much akila's capital is given uh, that is 90000 okay 90000 multiply by 3% and there is capital was 65,000 multiplied by 3%. Okay. So here we'll write how much? 90,000, uh, 2,700? Yes. Okay. And 3% of 65,000 would be, I need to calculate, uh, 65,000 multiplied by 3%, 19,150, uh, 1,950. Okay. So if we add them, uh, we'll get it over here. But it should be in packet because we have to deduct. Please, whenever you have to deduct something, write it in packet. So you won't forget to deduct 2,700 uh, plus 1950 is 4,650. Okay. So what will get the answer over here? Uh, 44,090 minus 4,650. Uh, that is 39,440. Okay. This is what left after interest on capital. Now, salary, we have to less salary. And salary is going to Akila only, so we don't need to bother. We'll write directly in this column, third column, the amount of salary. Okay. And the salary goes to Akila is 9,500, but should be in bracket because we have to deduct it. Okay. Make it a habit. If you have to deduct something, write it in a bracket in account so you won't forget to deduct it. Otherwise, if you have added, it will cause you a problem by double amount. Okay, so 39,440 minus 9,500, that makes 29,940. 29,940, the amount of, uh, the amount after salary, okay amount of profit left after salary. So here what we have to write now, we have to write less residual residual uh oh what happened? What's wrong with that? Okay less residual profit okay now because uh, residual profit we, we have to calculate okay this is wrong 
ओके विल राइट द नेम हेयर अकीला she will get uh, 29940 multiplied by 60% okay and darius will get 29940 multiplied by 40% so that would be how much multiplied by 60% 17964 Seventeen thousand nine sixty-four, and here we'll get how much? Eleven thousand nine hundred and seventy-six. Okay, together it will make how much? If we add, yes, obviously twenty-nine thousand nine hundred and forty, or or it should be in bracket. So if we deduct it. Definitely, we'll get a zero. Uh oh. Uh, we'll get a zero over here. Yes, we'll get a zero. Uh mm huh. What's wrong with that? We'll get a zero, and we write zero like this. So. This zero is very important. Means end of statement, and we have divided everything. Okay, and you get six marks over here. So if we move further, what we see? Oh, we have to make Akila's current account. Akila's current account we have to write from here. Ah, twenty twenty two. Her actually, uh, why I'm writing from here because her balance was actually debit. Okay, so here May first, twenty twenty two. Ah, balance BD is how much? Ah, uh, actually, she has taken more money last year from her uh, profit, so it means uh, debit balance two thousand six hundred. Okay, now here we'll write. Uh, twenty twenty three, twenty twenty three. Okay, April thirty. Okay, she got uh, interest on capital. Oh my God! Oh my God! What's happening? Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Interest on capital. Interest on capital. She got how much? That is, I think, two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. Okay. Acha, what else she got? After interest on capital, she got uh, salary. Uh oh, salary. This is nine thousand five hundred. Nine thousand five hundred. Okay. And what else he got? Uh, residual profit, or we can simply write profit. Uh, that is how much. Uh. Seventeen thousand nine sixty four. Seventeen thousand nine hundred and sixty four. Okay. Here we'll write. Uh, okay, May first. Okay. Now here we'll write. Twenty twenty three. April one. Okay. Here we'll write drawings. Okay, and we'll write <coughs> interest on drawings.
okay so drawings she got uh, her drawings were uh, 19400 and interest on drawing was calculated as uh, i think uh, 970 970 okay then we'll write total over here okay 2700 plus 9500 plus 17 960 30164 okay and that would be from black okay it means this side also 30000 164 okay now what we are supposed to write here balance cd yes okay balance cd uh how much okay so 30164 minus 2600 minus 19400 minus 970 We'll get 7194, 7, Okay. But please don't forget to write here balance BD. Okay. The account is closed here. So write uh, May 1st balance BD. How much? 7194. Got it? Okay. Okay. Calculate the balance on Akila's account, current account on 30th April if he had been due dollar one thousand loan interest from partnership. Now her balance is seven thousand one hundred and ninety-four. Plus she'll get the loan interest of one thousand. But if the firm is paying one thousand interest, so the profit of the firm would be decreased by one thousand. Okay. And her share of profit is 60%. So the total profit of the firm, which is decreased by 1000 due to this interest, her profit share will also decrease by 6600. So that would make her total amount 794 plus 1000 minus 600. 7594. 7594. This is the answer. Okay. Now, state two items uh, which are included salary, interest, capital, interest on drawing, and profit share. What else we could add to the uh, partnership agreement? I think duration of partnership we can add. Okay. Uh, amount of capital invested by each partner, interest on uh, uh, partner's loan, we can add, duration of partnership, we can add, if uh, for a particular adventure we are doing partnership, we can add the duration of partnership as well. Okay, restrictions on uh, drawings, we can add. Okay, Akira and Darius are considering forming a limited company that would be the only two shareholders in the company. Advise Akila and Darius whether they should form a limited justify answer with two advantage, two sales advantages of Akila and Darius forming a limited liability company. Now, limited liability company has two very good advantages. One is perpetual existence, means death of a partner would not end the company. If a partner dies, Akila or Darius, the partnership would come to an end. This is not going to be a danger if they make a public limited a, 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 a limited company of uh, and because of the perpetual existence and the limited liability of the shareholders means they they, they have to in, they will lose only the amount of their investment they don't need to pay from their private resources for the uh, abnormal losses if the company suffers okay that is unlimited liability and what are the advantage these are the two advantage well what are disadvantage the first is we have to pay registration charges which are very heavy even in Pakistan, so that might be also in Britain also. And the second is, 
crushing legal formalities. When you make a limited liability company, you have to work according to a company's ordinance. So each and every step of the company, uh, they will lose flexibility and so many things because of the crushing legal formalities. Okay, getting my point clear. Okay. This is a trial balance, which is not totaled and contained errors. Okay. So what we have to write, we have what we have to do. Okay. Repair and correct the trial balance show the remaining difference between the debit and credit column as total as suspense. Uh oh, okay. Fixture and uh, fitting and equipment cost, it should be on debit side. Yes, obviously. It should be on debit side. That is 30,000. Okay. Now, provision of deposition, it should be on credit side. How much? 7,500. Okay. Trade receivables. Yes, on debit side. 6,100. Okay. 6,100. Okay. Bank overdraft is a liability. Should be 3,106. 3,106. To be reported on the credit side. Okay. Now, next is trade payables. Trade payables, again, we, uh, we have to report on the credit side. This is 3,485. Okay. Now, capital again on the credit side. Uh, capital is how much? 20,000. Okay. Then, sales is also on credit side. Yes. That is 73,200. Okay. Now, purchases, it should be on debit side. Uh, how much? 41,785. 41,785. Got it? Okay. Now, after that, purchases, we have discount received, so it should be on credit side. How much is the amount of discount received? Discount received is 1990. 1,990. Okay. Okay, then we have written inverts, written inverts should be on debit side. That is 3,390. Yes. Carriage invert is also on debit side, 1,223. Yes, okay. Now, general expenses should be on debit side, uh, 6,430. Okay. Rent and rates, also on debit side. 7,380. Okay. Now, drawings. Yes, it's also in on debit side. How much is the amount of drawings? 9,500. Okay. Inventory. Yes, on debit side. No doubt. 3,752. 3,752. 752. It's on debit side. Okay. Now, closing inventory. We don't need to report closing inventory in trial balance. Okay. Now, what we have to do, we have to take out suspense account. Okay. So, what we have to do, we have to get the totals of the debit and the totals of the credit account. Okay. So, uh, what we'll do if we add uh, debit side this is 30,000 30,000 plus 6,100 plus 41,785 okay now plus 3,390 plus one double two. Three plus six four three zero 
प्लस सेवन थ्री एट जीरो प्लस नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस थ्री सेवन फाइव टू दिस इज वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टोटल ओके सो दिस मस्ट बी वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी ओके ओके नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू टेक इट ओवर यह वे कहाँ चला गया इफ यू डिडक्ट दिस क्रेडिट आइटम माइनस सेवेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री वन जीरो सिक्स माइनस थ्री फोर एट फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस सेवेंटी थ्री टू फिफ्टी माइनस नाइनटीन नाइंटी टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सस्पेंस ओके गेटिंग माई पॉइंट क्लियर द अमाउंट ऑफ सस्पेंस वुड बी टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन Getting my point clear, so this is amount of suspense account, two twenty nine. Okay, done six marks. Okay, move to the next column. Next our question. Oh, oh, we have to make a suspense account. So what we have to do? We have to take first the balance brought down. And uh, that was calculated on which date? Thirty first March. So we'll going to write March. Uh, thirty first. Okay, balance. Uh, BD. Suspense. Two twenty nine. Oh no. Oh my God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, balance BD two twenty nine. Okay, on the credit side two hundred and uh no two twenty nine. Okay. Okay. Twenty twenty three March thirty first one. Now general expenses had been account had been undercast. If we increase general expense. By two hundred, general expense is going to be debit, and suspense is going to be credit on thirty first March. So, uh, we'll write it here. Uh, general expenses, general expenses, and amount is two hundred dollars. Okay. Now, a rent payment of five hundred and sixteen has been posted rent and rates account as six hundred and fifteen. So. This is an order of transposition. Uh, six hundred and fifteen minus five hundred and sixteen ninety nine. So we have to reduce rent and rates. So if we reduce rent and rates, we would definitely have to uh, uh, credit rent and rates, and we have to debit rent and rates, and we have to. Debit suspense account by ninety nine. Okay, the total for discount received in the cash book for February one sixty seven had been debited to the drawing account. Discount received instead of debiting, discount received of one sixty five. Uh, okay. So it means what we have to do, we have to credit discount a drawings account by one sixty five. So, uh, what we have to do first, we have to credit drawings. So we have to de debit suspense with the amount of drawings. Okay, that is one sixty five, and. The second thing, oh, oh, what's wrong with that? One sixty-five. Okay. 
again we have to uh, again we have to uh, debit 165 uh, or it's 265 165 because of discount receipt when we create discount receipt we have to debit actually it's uh, it contains two errors discount received okay now if we get the totals here that would must be the same okay this is 429 429 okay so what is on that side 165 99 plus 165 multiplied by 2 429 yes it's done okay let's move to the next question we play the trading section of Madhi income statement for the year ended 31st March 2023 so what we have to do we have to write it over here revenue uh what was the amount of revenue revenue was uh, 73250 73250 okay then what we have to write it over here we have to uh, 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 okay we have to write it over here cost of sales okay okay cost of sales means what we have to write it over here inventory opening inventory opening okay then we have to add purchases okay let's see first report all opening inventory over here so what is the amount of opening inventory opening inventory is given 3752 3752 okay now what about the amount of purchases purchases okay and from purchases do we need to draw something purchases uh, return output we don't have written outputs here okay okay then we have to do it directly we can write it oh 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 Okay, we can report purchases directly in the second column. Uh, in the first column, that is uh, 41,785, 41,785. Okay. Then we have to add carriage inwards. Carriage inwards. Uh, what is the amount of carriage inwards? Carriage inwards 1,223, 1,220, uh, 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 1,223, okay. And we have to write closing inventory over here. Inventory, closing. Uh, how much is the inventory closing? Is 3,965. 3,000, uh, so it should be in bracket because we have to deduct 3,000. 965 done and we'll get the uh, total over here which is cost of sales in this column okay cost of sales would be 3752 plus 41785 plus 1223 Uh, I made a mistake. Three seven five two plus four one seven eight five plus one double two three minus three nine six five. Forty two thousand seven ninety five. Forty two thousand 
700 and oh, oh it should be in bracket because we have to deduct 42,795 done and we'll get a gross profit over here uh, 73,000 how much is the amount of revenue 73,250 30,455 is our gross profit. 30,455 is our gross profit. So we'll write it over here. Cost of sales. And we here we'll write gross profit. Okay, what we have to add over here in the gross profit? We have to add discount received. Okay. <clears throat> How much is the amount of discount received? <clears throat> we have to add it over here. Discount received is 1990. Okay, anything else? Any other income or something? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, 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 yes, we forgot one thing. Yeah, that is written in words. Oh, my God. Um, so we have to be careful about that. Okay, we have to be careful about that. Okay, uh, 73,000, 73,250, yeah, okay. Um, we'll write it over here less return inwards okay return inwards is how much sorry guys I forgot to deduct 3,390 3,390 uh, oh it should be in bracket yes So we'll get net sales over here. We'll write it here, net sales, net sales, okay. And net sales would be how much? 73,250. Minus 3390, 69,860. 69,860. Okay. So, what we have to do? <clears throat> uh, we have to make it again. I'm sorry for that. I want to make those. Uh, I forgot return inwards. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. My fault. Actually, I could have adjusted uh, this return now, uh, so return inwards here, but I didn't want to adjust it over here. That's why I'm removing this. You can. Uh, readjust the amount or okay so now give heading uh, cost of sales okay and okay now here uh, 
ओके ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री ऑन वेंट्री ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री वॉज हाउ मच ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री वॉज हाउ मच दैट वॉज थ्री सेवन फाइव टू थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू ओके देन वी हैव टू राइट इट परचेसेस uh how much is the amount of purchases uh, purchases was 41785 41785 okay then we have to write it here carriage inwards carriage inwards carriage inward was how much uh 3390 3390 and we have to write it over here closing inventory closing Inventory. Okay. Uh, put it in a bracket so you remember to deduct it. Closing inventory is three thousand, three thousand nine sixty-five. Okay. And we get cost of sales over here now. Cost of sales, how much? Uh, three seven five two plus four one seven eight five. Plus three three nine zero minus three nine six five forty four nine sixty two. Okay. Ah uh, okay. Uh oh, I made a mistake again. This is ah. Uh, One double two three. I don't know what's wrong. What is going wrong with me? One thousand two hundred and twenty-three. So that makes cost of sales sales. You have to change. Oh my God! What's wrong? Four one plus one double two three minus three nine six five forty two seven ninety five. Is the cost of sales forty two seven ninety five? Okay. Oh, in the bracket, in the bracket, in the bracket. Abhi kuch garbar ho jayegi. I don't know what's going wrong with me today. Okay. We we'll write it over here. Uh, the amount of gross profit. Forty two seven ninety five. Okay. Minus. What is the amount of net sales? Oh my God. Six nine eight six zero. Six nine eight six zero. Twenty seven zero two five zero six five. Twenty seven zero six five is the amount of gross profit. Twenty-seven zero six five. Twenty-seven thousand zero sixty-five is the amount of gross profit. Gross. Okay. So here's the end of statement. Why end of statement? Because they've asked for only the trading part of income statement. Yes, trading account. Trading account ends on gross profit. Oh, so we have to stop over here. Now, calculate. Now what is gross margin? Gross margin means gross profit divided by sales. Okay. Uh, gross profit is how much? Twenty-seven zero sixty-five. Twenty-seven thousand zero sixty-five divided by net sales. How much is the amount of net sales? Sixty-nine eight sixty. Sixty nine, eight sixty, multiply by hundred. Okay, so what will be the answer? Okay, twenty seven zero six five divided by sixty nine eight sixty, thirty eight point seven four percent. Answer is thirty eight point seven four percent. 
explain whether or not amadi should be satisfied uh okay Amadi is main competitor Hector who owns his own business premises Amadi and Hector have similar gross margin but Hector is a uh, slightly high profit margin do you know Achha, if they have same profit margin it's okay with that uh, but uh, because the competitor Hector is not paying rent and rate so his uh, um, net profit might be uh, good as compared to uh, Amadi, but her gross profit margin if is is increased, that means it's slightly higher. That means he has controlled his cost. Getting my point, uh, Hector is controlling his cost, or uh, Hector. Uh, uh, every business has different. Uh, um, profit margins and things around so we have to uh, take care about it might be uh, he's giving more discounts or sometimes he's controlling the cost or he's charging a little higher as compared to Amadi and there are so many things you can write over here just for three marks okay Achha, what I found that most of the time uh, now of O levels and A levels they are making papers with less calculation and more uh, decision making. So I think all students should be uh, smart enough to answer uh, all these questions, okay? And be careful uh, while uh, answering these questions, especially these scenario based questions, okay? Uh, so this is that's all for today, inshallah. Uh, next Friday, inshallah, inshallah, uh, I'll come up with the A levels paper, uh, AS uh, paper, inshallah, and uh, hopefully. Uh, these videos are helpful for you. If you want me to solve something special for you, uh, just uh, leave a comment and shall I solve that paper for you. Okay, take care.